Hey Comic Jammers, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use Agi uh, to collaborate in the Comic Jam digitally. And if you're drawing at home on paper, you still can contribute. So stay tuned. So if you go to the Jam website, so it's the Montreal Comic Salon, and look at the fact page, you'll find information both on Zoom, our, our social platform for the video conferencing, and Augie.io. Augie's a web-based drawing app, and when you go to the page, you'll be an anonymous user, and you can draw that way, but for the jams, I ask that you create an account and your handle. And then, once you're logged in, you can create a new drawing using preset sizes or custom size. I think 4,000 by 4,000 is the maximum, but it slows down the browser a bit. Uh, this is getting pretty big, and I made the jam pages just slightly larger at 2,000 wide. Um, I've made them this aspect ratio as opposed to tall to accommodate browser windows because it's going to be an entirely digital jam. Uh, but to start a jam, just hit new drawing. It doesn't really matter how big this is because what I recommend you do is go to the jam page, grab a starter template, now, I created these back during the days of doing comic jams uh, at Salarasa and Castle del Popo because some people, Castle del Popolo, there we go, some people would show up and like not know what to do because they'd look at a blank page and kind of get stage fright. Uh, and even the more experienced artists, they were there, they'd have fun. They don't want to think about page design. So this allowed people to just jump in and do a page without having to think too much. You can go through the carousel, check out the panels, and decide which one you like. So I'm going to use this one. Right click, open image, new tab. Save image as. Now I've done this once already, so I'm just going to write over the file I saved before. Yes. And I can close this window now. Now I can go to import and grab that file. And what it's going to happen is it's going to write over everything. It's going to replace image layer 5. It's going to replace layer 5. Sometimes it has a little bit of a moment. Oh my goodness. If it does this, I usually reload. This has happened once or twice, but I think it's a product of, there we go, my computer, not the site. Um, now, once I'm in here, I can start drawing. I'll usually rename this panels, just for the good, good conduct, or nice and organized. And then using add layer, start drawing on a new layer. Name it, and claim it. So that someone else knows you're working on panel one, panel one. If you're going to work on panel two, it's maybe. OK? Now. That works. The drawing tools are pretty robust. You've got a brush, a palette where you can pick your colors. You also have a pencil tool that has a few different kinds of finishes. There's an eraser. Uh, if you use key B, it's to draw. There we go. B lets you draw. If you hit E, it's erase. R rotates the whole canvas. Now, this isn't rotating the art, it's rotating your aspect to the art, so it allows an artist to draw different angles more comfortably. You can see why it goes right over the layer underneath, so we're seeing it there. I can set my layer to multiply, is what I usually do when I'm doing a comic, so that I can see my panel borders through the drawing. Uh, I can go back this way. I can use the Z button to zoom in and out. And Control Z undo, undoes things just like you're used to. Control Y redoes them just like you're used to if you're drawing digitally. Um, there's other features. Check the help. They've got a whole set of things. I use the space bar to grab things quite a lot as well. But say you're doing a jam and you want to do it on paper and paste it in. Well, there is a copy and paste function, but it only works natively with an Augie. And if you import drawings onto this, it'll erase these panel borders the same way the panel borders erase the canvas that was there before. But there's a hack. So what I usually do is go into Photoshop and grab the, oops, get rid of this. I'm going to start over. Grab the open page template in Photoshop, the same one I uploaded to Augie in the first place. This gives me the correct resolution. Why are we doing this? Because Augie doesn't have transform. I can't in Augie uh, resize uh, selections or 
let's say crop this. I can't do this stuff. Control T, that, or this. Those are not features in Augie. So I can use this, and then I can go and take a photograph or scan some art that I want to include. So here I've used some old poster art as a sample. And I can paste it in, hit multiply. So I'm using Photoshop, but you could use any layers friendly drawing software. There's even other web-based drawing software that you could use alongside Augie to get this functionality. And I can tweak it until I like how it fits my panel. So whatever I drew it on, however I drew it, I can now adapt to the situation and make that work. Now I can get rid of the panel borders because I don't want them for this transfer and crop my image down to just the live art area that I want to use. So it'll be safe from doing that. Let's see. Let's get a little extra. Whoops. There we go. A little extra just to be safe. Flatten it. And save as a JPEG. Uh, we're going to call it new panel. Just like I did last time when I was testing this out. So now I can go back to Augie. Uh, go to a new Augie login. Keep this one open. This URL is very important. This is now the way to find this page. And if I do what I'm about to do here, I'm going to get rid of the panel borders. And I don't want to go home and get rid of this because it'll be hard to get back unless I've saved and copied this URL. So first, go to a new page, hit new drawing. Doesn't matter yet what you're going to do because you're going to import your new panel, which is going to write over everything. But now, oh, it's doing that thing again. So reload import there we go so now I can copy in Augie go to my other Augie window and paste or at least I'm supposed to be able to I did it a minute ago I'm not sure if it's the key or my browser There it is. Okay, there. I can go to multiply. See how it went over the red lines and stuff? Because I'm in the same layer. It's a, a, erasing it. And I can select using the magic wand. And the shift key allows me to select multiple times, just like in Photoshop, to nicely crop the art to the panel. And there I've done my analog panel and pasted into the art. Uh, the browser is being a little bit skittish right now, but actually the last four times I did this, it worked fine. I just screwed up recording the video. So now you have this URL. This is important. This is what becomes the link for the table. So when you finish a panel or the next panel in a jam page and want to share it with the other artists, you're going to copy this link along with a little bit of text to contextualize it. Um, and then that goes into the chat in Zoom, which will function as our table. Um, and that's it. That's how to do the jam. It's how to contribute if you're drawing analog or draw digitally. Either way is fine. I hope you have fun. Hey, you could even use like photo photographs. Oh, lots of possibilities. Have fun with it and play nice.